Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at My Forex Funds. We're going to be going through what My Forex Funds has to offer, as well as uh, an alternative to this firm and see if it really is the better firm out there. It's been getting a lot of popularity, has some really good reviews. Uh, the price seems to be affordable in terms of traders who are looking to become instantly funded, as well as going through the challenge process and want to go through the valuation phase. Now, today we're going to be going over the instant funding side just because it's a little more attractive. I mean, a lot of like if if you're a trader and if you if there's a way to get capital without having to go through some hoops, go through the phases, evaluations, you know, prove yourself, that kind of method, then definitely going to go for it. Right. So we're going to look at that side of it today. We're going to look at the instant funding portion and uh, we're going to be looking at two options here. So with my Forex funds, we're going to be looking at the accelerated program. So if you go to the home page, you go under programs, accelerated. And the subcategory is going to be conventional. So we're going to be looking at the conventional method and we're going to be comparing the two thousand dollar account, which you can get for one hundred dollars. That's the lowest barrier of entry. And we're going to be comparing that with a firm called FTUK. And we're going to be looking at um, their at their program, which is on their homepage. In fact, you just go to their homepage and you scroll down and we're going to be looking at the instant funding $14,000 low risk uh, plan. And this one here costs about 150 pounds, which is around $185 US could be a little bit different depending on when you're watching this video. And um, yeah, in terms of where FTUK stands, FTUK is really similar. Uh, you know, my Forex fund started back in uh, 2020. FTUK started in 2021. So they're both fairly new. They both have really good ratings. Uh, FTUK is up there in terms of ratings. It's very similar. So I thought I'd confirm the, uh, sorry, compare these two and see where they stand. Now we're going to look at a few things and I'll go through it on the way. If you want more details, if you want a more detailed uh, art, um, outline and uh, breakdown of these you can click on the link in the description and uh, it will take you to an article that i made recently about this and it actually compares other firms as well depending and i thought i'd include those other firms because there are different types of traders out there so this might those firms might uh, apply to you so check that out you can also there's also some promo codes available there so you can save up on some of these other firms if you decide to go with them you know apply the promo codes get some discounts there's also a uh, newsletter that you can subscribe to i'm not going to be spamming you with all sorts of crazy stuff it's just things that will help you not only get funded but stay funded which is more important so going forward we're going to go ahead and look at this so in terms of cost my forex funds is def is definitely cheaper in terms of cost you're paying about 100 bucks for two thousand dollars of capital whereas with ftuk you are paying 185 bucks for 3500 of capital so just to go over that um, it says fourteen thousand, but if i went on if you go to their scaling plan you actually start off with 3500 so keep that in mind in terms of instruments they both offer the same they both offer forex uh, commodities indices and metals where they differ is in their platform so they both offer mt4 and mt5 uh, forex my forex funds is taught it mentions that they're going to be coming out with c trader soon if you're a c trader user uh, let me know in the comments below what's your experience with c trader i'm curious i never used that boat before i've used uh, mostly trading view as well as mt4 a little bit of mt5 but um, yeah, I'm, I'm primarily a, a TradingView type user as well as an Oenda uh, user as well. So let me know what you think about CTrader if you've used it before. And uh, where FTUK differs, they offer TradingView. So TradingView is a good tool. If you haven't used TradingView, check it out. It's, it's pretty easy to use, super user friendly. And uh, a lot of experienced as well as new traders um, use it and some pro traders even use it as well. So check it out. There's a free version if you want to get the paid version. Then uh, in the article as well, if you click on the link, you can get uh, $30 of credit for the paid version if you decide to go with it using the link in my article. So uh, go check that out. Now going forward, uh, going from there, so that's where they differ in terms of price, in terms of what they have to offer. They're relatively the same. Uh, and now if we look at their targets, so what are the targets you have to accomplish? So for my Forex funds, it's 10% all the way through for all of the phases you that you have to reach. 
with FTUK, it's also about 10%. So you have to reach 10% for both. Where they differ is the timeline. So with FTUK, you they require you to reach 10% within 180 days, which is six months, which is kind of enough time, which is like it's 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 enough time it's not too long i think it is pretty achievable with my forex funds they don't offer any timeline at all so you can take your time um there's there's no limit to, to when you have to reach that 10 percent. now upon reaching that 10 percent, you do get a capital increase so with my forex funds you get a 200 percent capital increase so with two thousand dollars upon hitting 10 percent, you get four thousand dollars as your new capital whereas ftuk Upon hitting your cap, uh, upon hitting your target, your 10% target, you get a capital increase of 400%, which is quite a significant difference. Um, now that's just for the first part, the first phase for the first uh, the first increase. After that, it's two 200%, which is doubling your capital, which is still quite a bit. That 400 does uh, does does make up quite a bit of room. So that's one of the major differences that stands out to me. In terms of profit split, they're both the same 50% profit split, um, as well as maximum loss about 5%. They allow for a five, maximum 5% drawdown before closing out your account. And where they, where they differ now, again, uh, another area they differ is the payout frequency. With my Forex funds, they pay you out uh, weekly, whereas with FTUK, you get paid on a custom basis, which is which basically means you decide when you want to get paid out. And uh, you just let them know, let the let customer service know, they'll work it out for you, and then you get your money right there. So that's kind of nice, a little more flexibility on that end. In terms of uh, what kind of conditions they offer, what sort of styles they they uh, they want you to trade within, uh, they both are very similar. Where they differ is, or both very similar. So I'll go through them just to know what I'm talking about, really, because what do they mean by what? Do, what does he mean by styles or conditions? So in terms of EAs, uh, electronic, or sorry, expert advisors, if you're a scalper, if you like using EAs or scripts or bots or any of those. FTUK does offer them. There are some rules, there are some guidelines you have to follow, so I would uh, check with them to make sure that whatever EA scripts or any sort of AI that you're using follows their guidelines. Unfortunately, with my Forex funds, they don't allow any expert advisors, so that's that. <laughs> um, in terms of news, you can trade the news for both firms, so they allow news trading. You can hold positions during news events or uh, major releases. You can hold trades overnight with both of them. However, you cannot hold trades on during the weekend with my Forex funds. So there's a little bit of a limitation there. If you're a you know long-term holder, if you're a swing trader, if you like holding trades uh, for a long period of time, FTUK is a little bit more friendly. It has a little for uh, offers a little bit more flexibility in terms of that. So uh, that's basically it, really. Those are the major ones. That I, that I went through. There's obviously more, there's probably more factors or more things that you wanna look at. Again, you can go to the article that I linked below in order to get a bit of a deeper breakdown or deeper analysis on these two, as well as other firms out there. For me, at the end of the day, it looks like FTUK offers a more scalability in terms of growth as a trader. And I think that's important because at the end of the day, we want to make money, right, as traders. And if we have an, and we want to scale up, that whole our whole point of growth and making more money is scaling our account and scale and scaling it up. And if there's if there's a platform out there, if there's a firm that gives us the right conditions that have, provides us the right foundations to scale up at a at a faster rate, we're gonna take that. And for eighty five dollars more, you get a huge scaling up plan. Um, scaling up method with FTUK, right? Like you're getting 400% increase. Your next phase capital is 14,000. Whereas with my Forex funds, your next phase capital is 4,000. Quite a big difference. In fact, it's almost exponential growth with uh, with FTUK compared to my Forex funds. So in terms of cost, it's about the same. Uh, no, sorry, not about the same. Uh, close to the same in terms of cost. Like you know, eighty-five dollars more. Hey, that's 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 nothing, especially when you hit your profit target with FTUK. You almost basically pay off that uh, that investment that you make. Whereas with my forex funds, yes, you pay off that investment that you made with with your return after the split and everything. 
but with FTUK, you have a lot more scalability. So in terms of growth, um, FTUK is what I would choose. Of course, you wanna go through both of them with a fine comb. Uh, the article that I have linked below goes through that and gives you a better idea, as well as a comparison with other firms out there. And uh, yeah, check it out. If you wanna save some money, if you wanna get a discount, then uh, click, on, click on that link. Uh, check out some of the codes that are offered on there and uh, save some money. So hope this helps. Hope this gives you a better idea of what my Forex funds is about. Yes, it looks attractive price wise on the front, but in terms of uh, growth, because at the end of the day as traders, we're about growth. We're in this for the long run. I think FTUK provides a better platform and a better environment in terms of that. So do your homework and make sure you check both of them. Um, contact customer service. They both offer really good customer service. So they'll answer your questions. And um, yeah, it's trade simple.